So is it better to be the weird team? And when they come to Iowa City, they're not ready for you uh, because you're unlike anybody they've played all season. It really doesn't benefit them in the offseason to work on how to how to attack you because you're so different than everybody else um, that maybe you can. Again, nobody wants to see these kind of sloggy games, but this is how Iowa has beaten teams like this historically. And so uh, if if it takes playing differently. And again, not as terribly as the offense has been the last couple of years. These last three years, four years have been such an outlier. But if we could even get back to like the mid twenty, you know, two thousand and tens level of offense, maybe it is better to be a little different and to to not try to air the ball out all the time and and to be that kind of team that limits possessions and that punts the ball really well and plays that field position game and has great special teams and a team like. You know, a Washington or a USC who hasn't had to deal with that, who hasn't recruited to that level. Uh, you know, we saw Nebraska and how difficult it has been for them to kind of adjust to that Big Ten West style of football, which is a unique style of football. Um, and I don't expect USC or, or Washington to have that much trouble, but there, it is going to be a change. They are going to be playing different caliber teams, different caliber defenses. Uh, you know, the Big Ten West isn't a division anymore, but those teams aren't going away. You know, like USC still has to play Iowa and Wisconsin and Minnesota and Illinois. And if enough of us have those, I mean, they're going to have trouble with these defenses. They really are. Um, and and so maybe not trying to be like the cool kids and try to out recruit these teams. You're never going to win on that level. You're never going to have the NIL budget that these teams have. Uh, you're again, you're just not. It's not going to happen. So how do you use your your advantages to to your advantage? You know, how do you find the things that you're really good at and then capitalize on those 